and welcome back to the start of another vlog. But this one's gonna be really fun because concert as well as wedding related stuff. So today is Wednesday the 13th of April. Luke, my mom, stepdad and I are going back to Hershey like we did in February for a concert. Back in February we did Ghost and Volbeat. This time we're doing Elton John. Mom and I have seen Elton John. Well, my mom's seen Elton John numerous times. I've seen Elton John twice before now, so this will be my third time. My stepdad saw Elton for the first time back in February. I think that was the first time. I could be very wrong about that. And Luke has never seen Elton. So pretty excited about that. Luke is not here currently with me. We actually, so my mom and my stepdad about like 20 minutes away, they're gonna pick me up. And then we have to drive up to DC pick Luke up from the airport and then continue driving to Hershey. So that is the plan for today and then the concert tonight. Also, if you've never been to, like if you're on the East Coast and you've never been to Hershey, Pennsylvania, like it's a very small area. It's got chocolate, but it has a really heckin' good concert venue. It's the Giant Center where they have like their minor league hockey. It's really good venue. Like mom and I have been there several times. And it's only like a three and a half hour drive for us. So it's not that bad. But yeah, so that's today. And then tomorrow we have to come back here, back to my house, my mom and stepdad will go back home. And then Friday, we have tasting for the caterer for the wedding. So that's exciting. I'm a little nervous just because my mom and I can't eat so much because of a uh, weight loss surgery, but you know, that's what we have Matt and Luke for. They can try everything. We probably won't be able to, but we're gonna try as much as we can. So that is the plan for, for this vlog, but I'm gonna finish packing. I always overpack. I'm only going away for like 24 hours. And I know I overpacked, but it's fine. It's fine. Well, it's been several hours later since I first said something this morning. Hello. We are currently in Hershey, Pennsylvania. Luke is here. Say hi, Luke. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I, wa I wanted more chocolate, and I said, we're getting more chocolate. So I hijacked this car, and I drove us here. We got more chocolate. I also got my nephew a bear for Easter. Yeah. Look at that. So it's gonna be from Aunt Gretchen and Uncle Luke. So we looked at, they had like chocolate bunnies there. Like They had a lot bushes. of Easter stuff. Yeah, had a bunch of Easter stuff, but my nephew is a year and a half. So like probably not old enough yet for one of those, but it's fine. So we got him a stuffed bear instead. We are sitting in the parking lot of chocolate world. My mom and my stepdad were able to do the VIP, mostly because my mom's name was the one on it. I thought it was my name on it, but it was her name on it. It was all a fiasco for nothing. Exactly. We dropped them off. My mom's texting me now. Apparently it's must be over. And we decided to go get Chipotle for lunch. Or Smart. Not for lunch. For dinner. For dinner. Yeah. Which was good because I was hungry. I was getting shakes really bad. And I didn't want fatty fat food. No. Or as and Chipotle is so. Chipotle's pretty like healthy. -ish. It's a lot leaner, cleaner food than yeah. sheets. So. I'll be doesn't sheets. Though. I wasn't. I'm um. <laughs> accurate though. But yeah. So we got some chocolate. We had Chipotle. Now we're probably going to go and just sit in the parking lot and wait. Yes. Um, Because the show's not till 8 and it's like 542 right now. So we've got a bit, but we. Yeah, you know, we'll go in early. I don't know if you're interested in Elton John merch. I saw some of it. It's not that I'm not interested. I'm just saying, like, I, it'd be nice probably just get there earlier and camp out. Yeah. Just so we get a better parking spot, too. And be able to find my parents again, my mom yeah. and my stepdad, because they're already there doing the VIP experience. But we're going to go do that. Though, I did want to show some of the chocolate that we got real fast. Found raspberry cream Kit Kats. I love Kit Kats. I love all the fun flavors that they have. And so I was like, we got to try this. Because yes. raspberry, 
Kit Kats. All sounds great. And then also found vanilla Those frosting. Look good. Yeah, the yeah. vanilla frosting kisses. I'm not a huge frosting person, but these look good. I'm a so. big frosting person. See, I'm like one of those people that would rather have cake with no frosting. I would rather just have a cup of frosting, so just right out I, of the can. So like whenever we go to a party or something, you just lick the frosting off and I'll eat the cake. I'll be like the little kid and just does the finger thing one at a time. <laughs> yes. But yeah, so these look good. And then we got these little, these kisses. They're solid chocolate. Yes. Solid chocolate kisses. So got some of them. Luke got some Reese's, Reese's things. Stuff. He yeah. likes Reese's. And I got more of these. If you remember from the last vlog I did in Hershey, Luke and I both got a bag of these. I love these. But yeah, so we got, we didn't get as much stuff this time as we did last time, but I am really excited that we got this for my nephew. We're gonna go back to the Giant Center. We're gonna go park. We do have VIP parking, so that's closer to the building. We're gonna go do that, so yay.
Good mm -hmm. still morning. It's Thursday the 14th, day after Elton John concert. Spectacular. Mm -hmm. As the last two times that I've seen him. I've seen him three times total. But It was a big project production. It was very nicely done. All the musicians were great. Mm -hmm. Elton was as smooth as possibly could be playing everything. Went through all the hits. For like two and a half hours straight. Mm -hmm. I could have sworn that he used to do an intermission, but I could be wrong about that. It was brief. It was like um, two minutes. Yeah, it, it was very brief. Like he went and did outfit like a wart, an That's outfit it. change. But I could have sworn at some point he did a, like there was a full intermission, like a 15 minute one, but I may be making that up. There was been some concert that I went to that did like a full intermission, but I don't remember who it was. Now it was like the Rolling Stones or like the Eagles or Fleetwood Mac. I don't remember. One of the bigger named older bands did one. But yeah, we uh, I think the last time we actually talked in the vlog, we were in the car at Hershey 
park like Hershey Chocolate World. The only other thing that was kind of an issue was the seating and how close everything was. It was crammed. It was crammed. I don't get hot. If Luke gets warm, that's just kind of standard. If I get warm, you know it's bad because I'm never warm. Like, it, it, and it's not even so much because the venue is hot. No, that's not it. They not, crammed the arena. rows together. Yeah. I mean, this was beyond a fire hazard at that point. You had to get yeah. up and go to the bathroom at one point. I had to get up you and go to the bathroom. You had to crawl over so many people. I had people. to crawl over people, and then I had so many people, like, touching me, and I'm just like, yeah. I'm just And not intentionally either, but, like, you can't avoid it. That might have been more of an arena thing, too, just to, sh like, shoehorn as many people in to sell tickets. Yeah, but, like, again, kind of comparing to my mom and I's experience in September of 2018, mm -hmm. we had very similar thing. We were row three, whereas last night, Luke Four and I five, were yeah. five, my parents parents were four. There was enough room at the show in 2018 where you could walk yeah. between the person seated and then the chair in front. Like, it, they had aisles. And again, Capital One Arena in DC, far larger yes. than Giant Center here in Hershey. Maybe that had something to do with it. It, it kept me from drinking anything the rest of the evening because I was like, I don't want to have to get up and go to the bathroom again because I know people are going to be pissed at me because we were right in the center of the bro, so it didn't really matter which direction I went. And I've got the bladder the size of my pinky nail. The seat didn't be in that close together, like even for most of it, when we sat down for certain songs, Luke felt the need to like lean I ahead. I don't focus, I would have been bumping her and the person next to me. Because we were just so close together, like even I, a few times, just put my arm around his shoulders just to like alleviate a little bit of the forward, closeness. Yeah. So that was, I think that's the only like negative thing I have to say. The yeah, actual concert. Everything on stage was top was notch. was incredible. It was so much fun. So if you haven't Go see Elton. seen Elton before, if you enjoy Elton's music, keep in mind this is his, you know, farewell tour. I don't think he will come back. Like, 75, guys. 75. He has children. Um, I don't think this is going to be like Kiss where they yeah, retire, it's not. come back. And that's retire, not to say he'll never perform live again, but he's probably never going to go on a tour again. No. So if you get an opportunity to go, yeah. highly recommend it. Currently packing up. Oh, we're already packed. We just need to it's go. Battle. Check out's in 45 minutes. So we're going to head home. I don't know what we're going to do the rest of the day because it is like a three and a half hour drive. This room was really nice though. Yes. We stayed at a Marriott courtyard. It was really nice. I'll give you a tour of the hotel room real fast. This is the bathroom. Really nice. Little privacy thing. Hello. Door to come in. Yeah. Little coffee area with the fridge. An area that really has no purpose other than to have this weird sculpture there. Bed. Bishop table. Fun stuff. A Luke. The hotel does not come with a Luke. The Luke yeah. comes with me. Desk. TV. To the window. Sofa. Yeah. Nice room. Very enjoyable. Look too busy. Would you rather have just pizza or you'd rather have options? You choose. I mean, Baker's crust was pretty good. Gotta admit, it was really good. Okay. So we can do that. Okay. I think it's open. It doesn't look like there's like anyone in. Good morning. Hello. It is Friday the 15th. Haha, I didn't even need to look at my watch, but I still did out of habit. I lost my tripod and now I have to hold it with my hand. It's just in the backseat of my mom's car and she'll be here soon. But we have our wedding, catering, tasting, testing, 
stuff at two o'clock. It is almost 11. We don't know what traffic's gonna be like for Northern Virginia or getting to Northern Virginia. So we're probably gonna leave like far earlier than we need to, but like, I just don't wanna be late. So that is what we're doing this morning. Last night, I filmed a little bit at dinner. I filmed a little bit of us walking around the mall, even though everything was closed, except for Macy's. Got a new perfume last night. That was really nice. Well, it's not really new for me. I've had it before. I just haven't bought a new bottle of it in so long, but it's Chanel Chance and it smells nice for special occasions like today. So I think I smell pretty good. That was pretty much what we did the rest of the evening. Oh, and this one over here helped me with my taxes and actually <laughs> saved me from paying too much and instead i actually ended up getting some money back all thanks to all thanks to luke so uh moving forward luke will be doing my taxes i apparently don't know what i'm doing but now we're waiting for my mom and my stepdad they're bringing ivan back because he's been staying at their place with their animals and their pet sitter while we were in hershey bringing him back today because i'll be back tonight after tasting so we're just waiting on them now and then we're gonna get on the road and go taste some food that we're supposed to have for the wedding hopefully it tastes good because i don't think we can change it now this is the new perfume that i got last night chanel chance i've actually had it before but i ran out a while ago it's kind of expensive but last night i was like hey i love this perfume i haven't had it in a while so i decided to get some and it smells amazing. So that's gonna be like very rare that I wear it because of <laughs> how expensive it is. It was really pretty. And it came in this nice little, little box that was all like tied up and stuff. It was very cute. Yeah, probably one of my favorite perfumes. It just smells so good. After a very long day out taste testing yes and we have come home a lot of boxes yes like a lot of these little boxes 11 from, total from taste testing of all the things that we didn't finish because like for starters my mom and i couldn't because our stomachs wouldn't handle it which i'm excited that they had to go boxes because there were some things that i didn't actually get to try and would love to like i didn't get to try the carbon station at all because my stomach just couldn't hold anymore we do have that which i'm excited for we have enough stations that i think everyone's going to be happy we have past hors herbs, which there are some vegetarian options, some are not. We have pasta station, a flatbread station, a carbon station, a vegetarian station where everything available at the vegetarian station is also vegan because we do have a few friends that are vegetarian and then we have the desserts so all in all a pretty good day i did get some clips so i'll show those to y'all to see exactly what we tried but we just got home mom and stepdad dropped us off and i was hungry i wanted to try this because this was like the one station i didn't really get to try we got one of the flatbreads that or two of the flatbreads actually so we got four total that they gave us i guess we ate the other ones yeah so one of these is what is it prosciutto and something prosciutto and arugula i believe something like that and then the other one was like braised pork with corn yes. but they're just like these little flatbreads that people can pick up pretty easily right which was great i tried there was an apple and chevre cheese chevre it's goat cheese which i'm glad i didn't know that at the time of eating it because i'm not a huge fan but it was fine it was good and with the apple i liked it you weren't a huge fan i was not a huge fan of that one it was just a little bit too much of the cheese and it was a little yeah. bit overwhelming so but it was pretty good one of these is pasta yes yeah, this one's that's just pasta. pasta and then these are like the little toppings that came with it so like had some tomato, some mushroom, some uh, spinach. That goes on top of the pasta. Tofu. That's, that's the tofu. Yeah, this whole thing is the, the vegetarian, vegetarian stuff, stuff. Which was really good. We have the desserts, which are my favorite part. I settled on the mini lemon meringue pies, the cheesecake pops, and the mini cannolis, vanilla cannolis. So, okay, so here we are with one of the pies. I do believe they said that the pies are gonna be smaller at the wedding, but they just made it bigger for tasting. So there's the pie, there's the little cannoli, which I'm excited to try because I didn't actually get to eat one of the cannolis while we were there. 
I only got to try the mini lemon meringue pie. And then here, oh, I didn't actually, yeah, it's my I, didn't, I didn't think they were actually gonna pack these up. So here are the cake, the cheesecake pops. They're really cute. They got the little graham cracker on a little stick. But this was the other dessert that we were like, playing around with and we like the idea of them. The main reason why we picked this one is because our wedding's in the fall. We wanted possibly like a fall themed dessert. These are mini creme brulee sweet shots. They're really cute. They come with like a little spoon. They have a little cup, but the main reason why we didn't go with these is because this requires two hands, whereas something like the cake pop, you can do it with one hand and have your drink in the other one. All the other ones you can pretty much do with one hand, especially if they do make the lemon meringue pie smaller and not the size that we got. It's all one-handed. This requires you to hold the cup and then do the spoon. So that was the main reason why we didn't go with that one, but it's really cute in presentation. I didn't actually try the cake pop, but They're you great. liked it. That was my favorite. That was, that was Luke's one that he really wanted. We like went through the list and and found ones that we personally thought we'd enjoy. Like for me, it was the lemon meringue pie. I love lemon dessert anything. Luke really likes cheesecake, so he saw the cheesecake pops and was like, yes. And then we went through and found the creme brulee shot because we were like, oh, that's kind of fall themed. And then they were like, pick a fourth one for tasting just so you can like narrow things down. So then that's when we went with the vanilla cannoli and we ended up liking that one more just because that one is more of a handheld. Now we're gonna go ahead and eat some stuff now that my stomach is finally, is no longer hurting because uh, I had a lot in there when we ate earlier. So we're gonna try some of these. Well, hello and happy Saturday the 16th. I would say good morning, but it's the afternoon now. It is Saturday and Luke leaves today sadly uh he's currently in the other room packing and taking a shower and just getting ready for the day and i'm just sitting out here in the living room with ivan i think buffy might come over and say hello but i did want to show some things that i got in the mail today and yesterday actually no i got it all today buffy's here buffy never shows up she's my old girl she's my my little my little curmudgeon hi come here Welcome here. She's my old girl. She's like 14, 15 years old. She rarely shows up on camera or anything like that. But it's kind of cute. Yeah, she's here. Oh, she's like, never mind. I don't want to be here. But I did want to show some things that I got in the mail today. The one thing that I got really excited for, G Fuel sent me this lovely shaker for my birthday. It was actually a birthday gift. Super cool of them to do. For those that don't know, I am partnered with G Fuel. So when they send me like little surprise things like this, it truly makes my day. So this is the new unicorn shaker, which is only available on the G Fuel app. Like, look at this. Like, I'm not even outside. I'm inside right now. And just look how gorgeous that is. I'm so excited. This might be a new favorite. And so then I also got a package from the Ghost, like Ghost, the band that I love so much. They had some new things launch on their website recently. So I got a few things, including this beanie, their like logo, the crucifix on it. Got a new shirt from them. They always come out with the coolest shirt designs. So this one is red, which I like it when they do red ones, but like that design is so cool. And then I got a few little accessories like this enamel pin, but it's rose gold their crucifix, which is their like little logo thing. Pretty, like the rose gold. I just love enamel pins too. Put them on jean jackets, leather jackets, backpacks, what have you. And then if you, if you don't know Ghost, they're like, as I lovingly call them, party city satanic. So one of their little items for this tour is a rosary that also has the crucifix at the bottom. And then just like the pretty coloring. I know this is not everyone's cup of tea, but I think it's kind of cool. It's kind of interesting and unique merch so i got this just because it was pretty i liked the colors of it so i don't know how i'll display that i'll probably put it up somewhere like hang it up somewhere just because it's really cool but yeah now so i'm just waiting for luke to finish up in the other room pack in take a shower and then we're just gonna chill but yeah we got about an hour and a half so we have to take luke has emerged i said that hello you, i said that you were in the shower and packing yes so probably not gonna put this in the video but i love you huh, huh? 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 What? And you're gorgeous. I was gonna chill now until I have to take Luke to the airport. Yes. Well, hello, everyone. It is still Saturday. It's the afternoon, though. It's like 7.30 right now. And Luke has gone back to St. Louis. And uh, actually, he's at Midway right now. Whatever that airport is. That one's in, what, Chicago? Ivan and I are currently on my back porch because it's such a nice night. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Ivan's going to not go use the bathroom, apparently. I'm gonna attempt to paint my nails the rest of the evening. So I'm trying to not wear fake nails so much. I hope you all enjoyed 
this vlog. Hopefully you found it interesting, entertaining, what have you. I personally love doing vlogs. Sometimes I feel like I talk too much in them and and that kind of draws things out. Still trying to get better about it. Uh, it was a lot this time. It felt like it was a lot of a lot of good things. So we'll have another one pretty soon, probably. Special thank you to my patrons. You can help support the channel on Patreon while having access to videos early, view and patron only content, and more. Sorry for the noises for this outro, but that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to go down there and hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell so you can know when I upload next. But until next time. Bye, all.